Fabrics were the main materials used in making clothes for noblemen and their families, as well as an important commodity for export since the beginning of trade. The business of raising silk wool and unwinding cocoons is known as silk culture or sericulture, yang chuan ye. It takes an average of 25 to 28 days for silk wool or larva to be mature enough. To spin a cocoon, the farmers put the larva onto specially built frames, which provide support for the wombs to build their protective and variable cocoons. About 1,000 meters of silk can be unwound from one cocoon. A single necktie requires the raw silk from approximately 110、oh. cocoons. And a woman's blouse from 630 cocoons or so. Suzhou is generally recognized as the home of Chinese silk, sometimes called the silk capital of China. There were various kinds of ancient Chinese silk. As early as the Han Dynasty of 2,000 years ago, Zhang Qian, a famous diplomat of the time, opened up the Silk Road. Leading from China to West Asia and Europe, and it was along this road that silk was continuously transported to countries in the West. Westerners became very fond of Chinese silk, and it is even said that during the first century A.D., a Roman emperor went to the theater wearing silk,、mm -hmm. which made a great stir in the audience. And from that time on, people wished to wear clothes made of silk. China, therefore, was called the Silk Country. Silk has added beauty to people's lives, and promoted friendly exchanges between China and other countries for centuries.